Hello class, 502. Today is Friday, March 27th, 2020, and today we're doing Backpack 4. We're going to start with page 105. So, if you could open your Backpack 4 student books to page 105, we could get started. So if you look, ballroom dancing is popular again. Um, and kids are crazy about it. Would you like to learn a dance that's easy and fun? It's called the Foxtrot. Just grab a partner and follow the, foot, uh, the footsteps. Oh, yes, and put on some music like New York, New York, or It Had to Be You. Dressing up will help put you in the mood too. Have fun. Sorry, I was reading that backwards. So if you have to reread it, reread it again. And then if you want to learn the Foxtrot, these are the dance steps. Okay? They are very, very easy. Now, uh, let's go to page 108, where we will continue to read something else. Okay. So, let's get started. We can see this. Learning to appreciate the arts is an important part of cultural education. People around the world express their culture in many artistic forms, including music, dance, and plays. Other important arts, such as painting and sculpture, are displayed in public uh, museums and galleries. Fiction and poetry are published in books for all to enjoy. Uh, appreciating the arts can begin in childhood and continue all through life. There are many opportunities for people to enjoy a rich cultural experience. Okay, so reread that if you have to. But now, let's just uh, talk a little bit about the arts. So, question one. Do you like to listen to classical music concerts? Why or why not? So, if you guys want, you can write this down or you can talk about it with someone else. But I want, to, I want you guys to give your opinion on classical music. So Beethoven, Bach, um, all those guys. Do you like classical music? Um, I personally like classical music because I think it's very calming and it's very pleasant to listen to. It sounds very nice. Um, and it's, it has a lot of history. That music goes back way, 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 way long ago. And it's always nice to hear something that's super old like that. So that's why I like it. I like to study um, to classical music. So when I'm reading a book or I'm writing something down, I have the music playing in the background and I really like it. So do you guys like classical music? If you do, why do you like it? If you don't, tell me why you don't like it, okay? Question two, do you like to see art in museums? So if you were to go to a museum and you saw some art, would you like that or not? I personally like art. I like to look at it because it's cool to know that somebody either painted it or drew it or sculpted it. It's, it's, it's really cool to see how far the human you know, creative mind can go. So I love art. Um, I took some classes on art history and it's very interesting. And again, it's really old. So it's all really cool to see how years and years and like decades, centuries ago, art has still you know, kind of had its very big role in society and culture. So that's why I like art, I like the history, and I think it's really cool to see how someone can take something from their mind and put it either on a canvas for painting or sculpted it or anything like that. So do you like art? If you do, why do you like art? If you don't, why do you not like art? Number three, do you like to go to plays in a theater? So, I like to go to a play in the theater because it's kind of like a movie that's happening right in front of me with real people. Um, I think they're really fun. I think they're really funny. And it's fun to see the actors have to play their role right in front of you in one shot, right? It's not a movie where in a movie if you mess up you just cut and then you redo the scene. In a play, there's no room for that. You have to just keep on going and it has to be perfect on that one try. So that's why I like it, because I think, again, it's, it's very artistic, but it's also really cool to see how the actors have prepared themselves and how they have one shot to get the whole thing right. So that's pretty cool. 
So do you guys like to go to plays and theaters? Again, why or why not? Um, now, you can either write all this down or you can talk about it with someone, but these are really important questions that you should be talking about. When it comes to art and culture, it plays a huge part in life. A lot of people think that they don't really need art or culture, but if there was no art, then we wouldn't have music, we wouldn't have stuff to watch on TV, uh, we wouldn't have any kind of painting you see or drawing, anything like that, we wouldn't have that. Uh, even the clothes we wear, you know, that's art too, we wouldn't have that. Um, anything is really artistic, as long as you're being creative, you have to use some part of art, right? You have to use your artistic expression. So, do you guys like any kind of art? You know, any kind. There's so many different kinds of art, so tell me what art you guys like. Do you like music, movies, TV shows, uh, fashion? Cooking is also art. You have to make it as beautiful as you can. If you like video games, the games on your phone, there's a lot of art in there. So tell me what kind of art you guys like. And my last question would be, do you guys want to pursue, so do you want, when you grow up, would you like to have a career or a job in art? Now that doesn't mean you have to be a painter or um, a singer or something. There are many kinds of jobs in art that aren't those. For example, you can design video games. That's an artist. You could work on movies as an animator where you draw the, the pictures for the movies. That's art. Even a chef. A chef is also an artist. So tell me if you would like a job as an artist and I would love to hear it. And that, guys, is our lesson for today. So read those pages again and talk about the, page, the stuff on 108. It's very important. And if you have any questions, call or email the school. And I will see you guys next week, okay? Have a good weekend, guys.